understand the technique of preparing the ledger account, let's recap the basic rules we learned in Unit 1. All journal entries have one or more debit aspect and one or more credit aspect. All expenses have debit balance. All incomes have credit balance. Because remember, we take credit for all the good things. And income is a good thing for the business. All assets have debit balance and all liabilities have credit balance. Now we'll help you to understand the preparation of ledger by posting the following transactions. Below is the list of activities happened in the stationary account of a firm. From the first item, we can understand that this is an inventory account for stationary items. So what kind of an account is this? Asset, liability, income or expenses? We all know that inventory or stock is an asset for the firm. So what balance an asset has? Yes, debit. So any transaction that result in an increase in the balance of an asset like purchases etc. we will write at the debit side. Anything that reduces the balance like usage of inventory, abnormal damage etc. we will write at the credit side. Now let's see the transactions one by one. The first item states that on January 1st which is the beginning of the period this firm has an inventory worth rupees 480. This is called opening balance. Let's record that in the ledger. Since this is an asset and as all assets have debit balance, we will write the opening balance at the debit side. It is a practice to use the word to at the beginning of all the debit transactions. So let's write to balance BD. BD means brought down. Amount is rupees 480. Next, we made a purchase of stationery by paying rupees 800 through check. The journal entry for this transaction is stationery account rupees 800 to bank rupees 800. Since a purchase will increase the balance of a stationery, which side of the ledger do we write this? The debit side. So, let's go to the debit side and write to bank. Amount is rupees 800. Next, we bought stationery from Messrs. 5 Star Stationery Mart on credit. This also will increase the balance of a stationery. But we have not paid any money to Messrs. 5 Star Stationery Mart. So, instead of bank, we will write to Messrs. 5 Star Stationery Mart Rs. 1280. On November 30, we consumed stationery worth rupees 2320. When we consume inventory, what happens to the ledger balance? Yes, it reduces. So, which side should we record this? Yes, that's right, on the credit side. So, let's write buy stationary expenses rupees 2320. Now, since all the transactions are over, let's see the status of this account at the period end. This exercise is called balancing. We will compare the debit and credit column and see which side has the highest total. We will write that highest total in both columns as column totals. In our case, the debit column is the highest and its total is Rs. 2560. So I will write that in both debit and credit columns as the totals. The actual total of credit side is 2320. Hence, there is a difference of rupees 240. Let's write that also in the credit amount column so that the totals are mathematically correct. Against that, we will write by balance CD. This is the ending balance of the stationery as on December 31st. This balance will be brought forward at the beginning of the next year. So, beneath the debit side total, let's write the date as January 1st, 2018 and write 2 balance brought down rupees 240. So, this is how we prepare and balance the ledger accounts. A ledger is known as principal book of accounts because it shows 
all the details about transactions pertaining to a particular account. After balancing the ledger at the period end, each ledger balance will be listed in the trial balance to ensure the arithmetical accuracy of the accounts. While preparing the final accounts, all the income and expenses account are moved to profit and loss account and all assets and liabilities are moved to balance sheet.